Bill Bledsoe has been on daytime Tri-Cities many times, showcasing his paintings, especially his take on the Super Bowl each January. That's right, and this morning Bill is here to share with us his newest work, and this time his subject is still on the gridiron, but is a little closer to home. Bill, appreciate you being here today. Thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate it. We're we'll talking ETSU today. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You're a two-time alum. Mm -hmm. That's right. I graduated from UH, and then I got my undergraduate degree and my graduate degree from ETSU. Oh, awesome. So big fan. He oh, has yeah. his blue and gold. Well, share with us his first painting. Well, uh, again, the whole idea for me was to create a painting of each game, regardless win, lose, or draw, and mm -hmm. focus on uh, some of the positive aspects of that game. And then, of course, this is my interpretation of the first touchdown uh, that ETSU made. Uh, and um, um, again. I don't work from photographs right. taken of the game. I create my own uh, uh, composition. Your own mental that's right. Photograph. And so uh, that's that. That's what I did with this one. And uh, I really was once I did this one, I felt real excited about doing the rest of them. And of course, being a former coach myself, uh, with the boys that I worked with, it was always important to emphasize what they did well in every game, regardless of what the outcome was. Right. And then, of course, work on the things that they didn't do well, so they could get as they could get better at that. So. To me, it just was real exciting for me to want to do these pieces uh, and the ones that will come uh, down through the season. So you're uh, going to do one every game? Every game. Every game. So Very we'll have cool. a collection for the inaugural season. Awesome. So when you're watching the game, what are you looking for? What's that moment that you say, this is going to be my subject? This well, play, this inning? Or this well, it's just like with the Super Bowl. Sometimes it's a particular play, right. uh, but, and, but sometimes it's 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 maybe the defense, the overall effort of the defense, or the overall effort of the offense or special teams, whatever. Sometimes, you know, but ultimately I want it to be a team. I want it to exude team. I'm not interested in focusing on a particular player in the overall right. uh, uh, thing. So um, anyway, so it, it you know, it, it, can, it can vary. And I love the detail on this picture. I really do. You you captured the essence of the helmets, the uniforms, everything. I mean, you just yeah. well, yeah, the and that's, effort. That's a good point because a lot of times in football, you know, in football we identify the players by the color of their uniforms mm -hmm. and their numbers and, and the position that they play. It's not so much their lightness, their physical lightness. Right. And in football, as in any sports, but especially football, there's a lot of movement, there's a lot of energy, and there's a lot of intensity. And so. Um, you know, you, you you have some details in certain areas and blurred areas right. uh, in others, it, almost abstract in a way. And so for me, uh, that's the real challenge, to really capture the movement of it. I didn't, I don't want it to be stoic or right. still. So, and then, and, go ahead, I'm sorry. I know, I'm sorry. We got, we want to make sure we get both paintings up here. Let's yes, get the second yeah, one up here from the uh, Marable game. Yeah, this is the Marable game. And what I, I had, I had, I had anticipated that based on the first game, the defense was really going to be in the spotlight this right. second game. And the idea being is the defense would be able to, to of course, do better than they did the first game, and they keep that game uh, within grasp of the offense to be able to win, which is exactly what they did. Right. And so uh, the whole idea of that defense up against uh, uh, Maribel's offense and just that intensity that they showed in comparison to the first game. And again, that's what's so great about, you know, most of us were fans. We're fans of teams that existed years before we were born. Right. And to be part of an inaugural season, to be able to watch these freshman boys, most of them are freshmen, right. to grow as a team through their college career, I think is so exciting. And, uh, you know, the fact that they're going to be playing UT in their senior year. Right. I think, uh, uh, to me, not that you put all that energy or emphasis on one game, but just to see them grow. Uh, is really, really exciting. And so, to me, this inaugural season, that's what makes it so special. Well, we're excited to see okay. all of your Great. other paintings sure. as Great we go work. through the season. Great. Yeah, I'll, I'll be sure and send them to you. All, all right. right. Very good. good. Bill Bledsoe, right. good to have you on the oh, show. Oh, great to be on the show. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And we're going to be heading over to the kitchen in just a few minutes. You better stick around. I'll have some it. great food. Miss Wanda over there for the Whistle Stop. Look at all those apple-based um, desserts and dishes. She is getting ready for a big festival. Uh, Coming up next.